Welcome to this introduction to EndNote. In the first video, I'll show you how an EndNote library is set up and how to manually enter citations. Open the EndNote program. For now, click Cancel. You can create an EndNote web account later. Here you can create a new EndNote library or open an existing library. When you create a new library, save it to a location that you can remember easily your desktop, my documents, or a share space. I'm going to open a library I've already created. Here's the library window. At the top, you can see an output style menu that lists a few bibliographic styles. These are just the ones that appear automatically, but there are thousands more to choose from. In the upper pane, you can see references that are already in my library. I've highlighted one reference and you can see it in the lower pane on the Preview tab in the output style that I selected at the top. The left pane lists groups of references. All references, unfiled, references not in groups, trash, and groups that I've created for my own use and other EndNote functions. There are two ways to add references to your library, electronically or manually. I'll show you how to enter a citation manually. I'll start from the Reference drop-down menu and select New Reference, or click the New Reference icon. At the top of the reference window is the Reference Type box. The default type is Journal Article, but there are many more types to choose from. When you change the reference type, the fields that are available change also. I'm going to stay with Journal Article as Reference Type. I'll start by entering the author name, cousin, Jennifer. If an author or journal name is already in your library, EndNote will suggest terms as you type. New author journal names appear in red. I'll continue to add enough information to create a citation using the tab key or my mouse to move between fields. To close and save the reference, Click the inner X in the upper right corner. If you need to edit a reference, double click the reference and make your corrections in the reference window. You can also use the quick edit tab. Just be sure to save your edits here by clicking above the tab. That's it for this video. In the next videos, you'll learn how to import references electronically. If you have any questions, please contact the Taubman Health Sciences Library.